Hi and welcome to the first part of this series in which we'll create a multi-platform 2D game. By multi-platform I mean that your game uh, will be able to run on Android, iPhone, iPad and even on the desktop. For the purposes of this tutorial we're going to use Moai. Moai is a game engine which is uh, targeted for maybe professional game developers uh, which we aren't yet, but still we will take uh, a look at it and then we will use a much higher level uh, library in which we will create our own game. Now I'm going to show you what we're actually going to build. This is a sample from the high level library that I've talked about previously. Uh, the library is called Rapa Nui and it is really great for uh, beginners in game development. So this is what I'm talking about. As you can see, this is a bricks game. It is running in a screen that is uh, sized pretty much as an iPhone phone and it is really running great smooth and uh, currently I'm playing it on the desktop but you can play it on a iPhone Android or a similar touchscreen device uh, it is awesome and we're going to build it Now you know what we're going to build. So let's get started. Uh, first we're going to need Moai and then we're going to download and install the Rapanui library on top of it. Currently the Moai framework is free to use but there are some limitations. Uh, you have to put essentially a splash screen that says this game was built with Moai and uh, that's it. So let's get started. Now you can click on the login button here when you go to getmoe.com then you're going to be redirected to this page and as you can see there is a register button over here so you click it and you go to this page so you essentially put your email, name, company and for the namespace this is kind of interesting uh, this essentially is something that uh, will be uh, your unique identifier for uh, the cloud service that MoAI uh, provides. You can put everything here. You uh, most probably you're going to name your company here or your fictional company. I don't know. Put something in it. It's not that important currently and then password and password again then you click sign up now you have your moai account ready and most probably your email verified so let's get download moai you click again on the login button you click login and then this get moai sdk and currently the latest version is 1.1 1 .1, so you click download and you have to wait a little bit now that you have the moai sdk you can basically take it cut it from your download directory and we're going to create a new folder on, in the C drive we'll call it learn more AI. then simply paste the SDK and then we're going to extract it here now during this time we're going to download the Rapanui framework the Rapanui framework is as here says it's a high level API for Moai so that is what we're going to need so let's download it now 
Now you have Rapa Nui downloaded, so let's do the same thing for it again. So we go to downloads, cut it, back to Warn Moai, paste it, and extract it here. So now you have Moai and Rapa Nui. It's, it's, those libraries are the things that you're going to need in order to develop the games that we're going to create. So, uh, don't worry about the links, I'm going to paste uh, them in the blog post that I'm going to write. And the blog post will be linked below the video, so check it out. In the next episode, you're going to learn how to configure both Moai and the Rapanui framework in order to run the samples in the libraries. So, uh, we're going to get to a point where you can actually run get this game or any other game available in the SDK. So, stay tuned. Bye!